right, so we got some new stuff for the pond today. We got a new liner, and then this is for the small pond because this right here is absolutely horrible. You can't even bend it without it breaking. Look, it literally just breaks every single time you bend it. And then we're gonna get all these fish out of here, out of this pond. We're gonna put them in the bucket while the liner is getting inside of there. And I catch all these fish out of here. Look how cool that little white one is right there. The red dot on his head. Kind of like a Japanese koi fish. A few of them died and I put a few of them inside of the 80 gallon tank that is inside of my house also. I put the very big ones that I had inside of the pond. I put those ones inside of the tank inside because I didn't want them to die inside of here. I just decided to put a few of the baby and then the three big ones inside of the big tank. That fish does not want to be caught. I don't think any of them want to be caught. All right, so now since we got all the goldfish out of the pond, we're gonna take the water out of the pond and then we're gonna put the new tarp in it. Now, it's time to put the new pond liner in the pond. This is probably gonna be way too big for this pond. I think this is the same size that I got for the other pond over there. So seven foot right here, and then it's 10 feet the other way. Yeah, this line is way too big for this pond right here. I'm not gonna cut it though. So just in case I want to use this liner for something else in the future, I can. I'll just fold it up on the corners. All right, now I have to fold it up in the corners so that you can't see all the big edges. So now since we have it all folded, we're gonna fill it up and then we're gonna get rocks to put on the edges. I have a whole bunch of rocks down by the end of my driveway for this. So we're gonna let it fill up real quick. Shouldn't take very long. This thing's only probably, probably 80 gallons. Back up at the pond. It's almost filled up. I stopped it so that I don't have to stop when I'm putting the rocks in the pond, turn it off. But we got some rocks right here and let's put them on the pond. All right, everyone. We got the rocks all around the pond right now. So I'm gonna put the pump inside of the pond and then I'm gonna put the water flower inside of the pond. So there's the pump and then this is what just flows a whole bunch of water throughout the pond. Hide the cords back through there so you can't see them. And there we have it. This is the little pond right here. I still have to put some more water in there, maybe an inch or two closer to the top. I don't wanna get it too full because then I don't want it to overflow while the fish are in here and then goldfish are kind of dumb. You guys would see them swim out through the side. We're gonna turn this off now. So this is how I want the pond. Not too full, but just enough to where it doesn't overflow through the sides. And now we're gonna turn this off and replace these tubes with that tubing right there. I glued these pipes in here, so I don't know if they're gonna come off really. We got all the piping on the filter. I'm gonna bring this back over here. So much nicer having this, cause then you can just basically move it whichever way you want without it breaking. Got that pipe right there. Got this pipe. I'm gonna be flowing half the water out of one and then half the water out of the other one. So there's two different flows into the pond right there. So there we go. Get half the water coming out of one, half the water coming out of the other one. Or should we just have the water all coming out of one? What do you think, this? So this, or that, oh. or this, or what? Yeah, just do that side. So you know that. Mm -hmm. Are right, you can stop recording? 
It has been at least an hour and a half since I turned this on here. I've been adding the water from the pond into this bucket also. All right, and there we have it. We have the goldfish inside of there. Thank you everyone for watching this video and coming along with me. I hope I inspired a few of you guys at least to build a small pond like this. I got this small tarp from Lowe's and I got the rocks. Well, I had them in my yard. And hopefully soon we get a lot more goldfish inside of this pond, get it going. So one day I could come out here and just throw some flakes inside of it and video it for you guys when there is a million of goldfish inside of this pond right here. But once again, I appreciate you guys. And until next time, I will catch you later.